is Murderfire's frontman. Over controversial comments. Chris C.J. McMahon stabbed out of the band full time. Mm. And of course, that was the last straw of, of C.J. McMahon, who was, of course, fired from Die Art is Murder um, this week. It's because of controversial comments. Because of that, he was kicked out or stabbed out of the band. Hi there. And of course, my name is Conkle in the cloud, and welcome to Media Watch. Of course, even though I'm not into death metal, though, because of its confronting, insulting, and also unsettling, um, disgusting lyrics. But, uh, but, but the Sydney group Die Art is Murder have made headlines um, this week, and of course, they've lost their front man because of the comments for which he said were unacceptable comments made about children. But of course, it's because, it's because he officially posted this for which we have bleeped. Then after that, he released an apology via Instagram. But then he announced that he was quitting social media for good. But unfortunately, that apology was not enough. And just about yesterday, it was the final straw. The band officially fired him and officially tore up his contract. Or saying this. CJ McMahon fired over. Unacceptable behavioural comments about children. Because of that, uh, the bands now replaced him with a brand new vocalist. Also, the band has now replaced his vocalist uh, with someone else's. And because of that, that became the last straw. For McMahon, and I'm just hoping that he will never that he will never perform in a band again. And of course, and of course, that has all gone often far too long. And of course, uh, it all but happened. But meanwhile, back in Newcastle, um, um. There was a lot to say um, uh, about Ben Gillies's, um, uh, about about the band Silverchair. And of course, when Ben Gillies revealed about his struggles with depression, when he said, I was struggling at the time, and I really wanted a whole lot of help. Finally, he got the best help at the time. But of course, um, of course, the one guy you never forgot is, of course, Daniel Johns. And of course, um, because back in mid-2002, while the band was releasing and recording their fourth album, Darvama, um, of course, Johns was struggling with reactive arthritis, which, of course, forced him to rarely move and play the guitar. And only play the piano. But of course, um, everyone had to quickly send in a lot of get well messages, as well as a lot of get better soon, as well as get well, get better, um, cards, as well as flowers. Oh, sorry, as well as flowers. Um, um, and because of that, um, John's ladder recovered um, the following year. But however, it just wasn't enough for um, uh, for him to um to walk properly. Because of that, um, Silverchair had to go onto a hiatus after going onto their final tour up in Newcastle. 
Don't forget part two of Australian Story will be on the ABC on Monday at about 8 o'clock. And don't forget, I'm off to the preliminary final of the uh, of of the of the NOLW um, uh, um, tomorrow, where the Newcastle Knights are up against the Brisbane Broncos, and of course, go the Red and Blue Knights. It's a good night for now.